Urine is the main means by which the body gets rid of waste from metabolic processes and foreign or toxic substances. It is produced by the filtration activity of the kidney and through the ureters it reaches the bladder, from which it will then be expelled through the urethra, a small muscular organ that represents the last tract of the urinary system. Most of us do not pay particular attention to the color of urine when going to the bathroom and tend to underestimate it, but we know that it can give us valuable information about our health and signal us when something in our body is not working properly. Even the kidneys, when they are not working properly send us some signals, to know what they are, I leave you the video I made above. In a healthy adult, urine appears as a clear, straw yellow liquid with no bad odors. However, numerous conditions, pathological or not, can alter the color and composition of the urine, as substances that are not normally present may appear or their concentrations in the urine may increase. Before going to see what the main color variations are and what they might indicate, let's quickly look at what it is made of. Urine is composed of 95% water and the rest of organic substances and inorganic salts. As far as organic substances are concerned, we find urea in greater quantities, a final product of the catabolism of proteins. Then we find cretinine, a substance produced by the breakdown of creatine, a protein located in the skeletal muscles of each individual, and serves to give energy to our body. Among other substances we find, uric acid, product obtained from the metabolization of nucleic acids, sodium chloride, nitrogen, ammonia, and urochrome, the main pigment in urine, which gives it its characteristic yellow color. Among the inorganic salts on the other hand, we find chlorides, phosphates, and sulfates. Now let's see what the color of your urine says about your state of health. Urine of rock water color. A clear, almost transparent urine indicates the absence of the urochrome, the pigment that gives the pee its yellow color. In medical terminology, it is called rock water urine, and can be due to excessive consumption of liquids. Drinking too much water in a short period of time can also have negative consequences on the body, such as hyponatremia when the sodium concentrations in the plasma fall below normal levels. A transparent urine color that lasts over time, perhaps associated with a continuous and unmotivated thirst, could be one of the first signs of the onset of diabetes, a chronic disease characterized by an excess of glucose in the blood due to an altered quantity or insulin function. Urine of straw yellow color. It is the color that urine should have and indicates a good degree of hydration of the organism and an optimal state of health of the individual. Dark yellow urine. A dark yellow colored urine could indicate that you are not getting enough liquids and therefore you may be dehydrated. Having a dry mouth is also another of the signals your body sends you to tell you that you need to drink. In other cases, the urine may take on an orange color due to the intake of certain foods such as pumpkin and carrots as they contain a high amount of carotene. It could also be due to taking certain medications such as rifampicin, an antibiotic used primarily in the treatment of tuberculosis, and phenazepiridine, a drug used to treat pain caused by a urinary tract infection. However, an orange color of the urine could also indicate a liver disorder, especially if associated with whitish colored stools. Urine of brown color. Urine can resemble the color of dark beer when the level of dehydration is very high. In this case, intravenous fluids and medical attention are probably required. In other cases, the urine takes on a brown color when there is poor liver function or an obstruction of the biliary tract, that set of ducts of different sizes that collect the bile produced by the liver cells and transport it to the gallbladder to store it during the period of fasting and in the duodenum during food intake. When the outflow of bile is impeded, bile salts accumulate in the blood and then end up in the urine. There is talk of cholelaria and the causes can be multiple, from hepatitis to pancreatitis, from liver cancer to cholecystitis. Urine of red color. Seeing red urine immediately creates a strong concern and could immediately make you think of serious diseases, but it does not always indicate a health problem. You may simply have eaten certain foods such as blueberries, blackberries, beets, and rhubarb, which color the urine naturally due to their content of specific liquid-soluble pigments, such as anthocyanins. In this case, it is a transitory phenomenon, 
destined to disappear with the passing of the days. In other cases, however, it could indicate the presence of traces of blood in the urine, also called hematuria. We speak of macrohematuria, when the amount of blood is visible in the urine to the naked eye, and microhematuria, when it is visible only through a microscopic examination in the urine sample. Hematuria can be a sign of possible kidney disease, a urinary tract infection, kidney stones, prostate problems, or cancer. In the case of pseudoamaturia, these are false positives, where the reddish discoloration of the urine is simply due to menstrual loss. Urine can take on a color similar to that of Coca-Cola and can be caused by previous bleeding or by the presence of hemoglobin, a fundamental protein molecule in the blood, because it allows the transport of oxygen. Urine of green color It is not Hulk's urine, but it is often the result of consuming certain foods or drugs. Asparagus are the foods par excellence capable of giving urine a greenish color, as well as an unpleasant smell of sulfur caused by the degradation of some sulfur compounds. In other cases, the urine takes on a green color due to a bacterial infection of the urinary tract, for example, due to the pigments produced by the bacteria of the genus Pseudomonas. Urine of blue color Also in this case, the color may be due to the intake of certain medications or from a familial hypercalcemia, also called blue diaper syndrome. It is a rare inherited metabolic disease, characterized by a problem in the absorption of tryptophan, an essential amino acid. Foamy urine The occasional presence of foam in the urine should not worry, especially if the toilet has just been cleaned, as the presence of any residual detergents can increase the foam. However, if the problem occurs frequently, it could indicate an excessive presence of proteins in the urine, called proteinuria, and indicates that the filtering action of the kidneys is not functioning properly. We have therefore seen that urine can reveal important information about our state of health. If you notice changes in color or smell that do not seem to be related to the intake of certain foods or drugs, it is good to contact your doctor in order to exclude the presence of pathologies. For a correct diagnosis, it is necessary to carry out a complete urinalysis.